Hey everyone, my name is Moto ND. I'm a new Moto vlogger starting out, and I figured I'd do a first intro video telling who I am, what I ride, my gear, type of things I'll be doing in the videos. So, to start out, I'll show my bike. And what we have here is a 92 Yamaha FZR 600R. It's my third bike I've had. I've already been doing some work to it over the summer. I've got a lot more work to do over the winter time. Which brings me to the point that I will also be doing customizing videos throughout the winter since I live in North Dakota. Can't ride in the winter time, so I'm going to do customizing videos I got a lot of work I'm going to be doing to the bike and I'll also be doing how-to videos on repairing motorcycles but I'm give you a quick walk around on the bike 600 cc six-speed manual bike only has 12,030 miles on it and I acquired it in April I traded my Toyota Supra for it and when I got the bike, it was just a complete basket case. Whoever worked on it before I got it had no idea what the hell they were doing. They had everything completely spray painted flat black. And it was a horrible paint job at that. So I redid everything in white. Did the, uh, got the clutch cover in white. I still got to, I still got to paint the starter cover, but need to order a gasket for it. Got my heel guards in white. Tank cover. The rear fairings, front fender, front fender, all of it's in white. Put a universal blue smoke screen windshield on it. And you can see I support Yummy R6, support his niece Sarah Lynn. Got one of the stickers and put it on my bike. <coughs> I've got my got the stator cover painted white. Got the Yamaha letters in black. Gear drive cover painted. There's the other heel guard. I'm going to be repowder coating the wheels this winter. And, and as you can see, I'm going all white getting with carbon fiber accents. Got the Yamaha and carbon fiber. Got my, my F6R logos for the rear fairings coming. Those are in carbon fiber. Got carbon fiber pattern tank pad. Carbon fiber bar end mirrors. Which I, when I got them, I modified them so I could keep my bar weights. Got carbon fiber clutch and front brake lever, pro grip grips, and so far that's about it. I put new tires on it, got, got white painted tread patterns on front and back. And for my exhaust, I'm running a Moto GP Stealth exhaust on it. And I haven't seen too many bikes out there with this exhaust on it. A lot of people claim it's too loud. But if you watch any of Yummy R6's videos, a lot of people say his exhaust is very loud, even him. But I like it because loud pipes save lives. And I'll show you here just how loud my exhaust actually is. <laughs> I love it because at 10,000 RPM and higher it does shoot flames out of the exhaust and it's a cool effect for riding at night and I get a lot of complaints from people and I'm out riding because the exhaust is so loud but I really don't care but that's just a quick overall of my bike and I'll show you the gear that I wear and to start out doing my motor vlogs I'm gonna be using my speed and strength seven sins helmet of course with the Warhawk. My camera I'm going to be using, I run a Replay XD1080 camera. I've got, right now it's just got the, ex, the internal mic on the camera on it. I've got the external mic to mount inside the helmet. It's on the way right now. I should have it in the next couple days. My gloves are our MG motorcycle gear. Black leather gloves, carbon fiber knuckle guards, full perforated fingers for for airflow 
We've also got the small knuckle guards on each one of the fingers and padded palms, both uh, suede leather and regular leather on it. And the wrist is all padded. And my jacket that I wear when I'm doing motor vlogs, I've got the matching speed and strength seven sins jacket, full shoulder, elbow, and back armor pads. It's got a wind, it's got a cold weather liner for it that I'm probably going to be putting in the next couple days because it's only about 50 degrees out now and it's just getting colder. That's what I wear when I'm out doing motor vlogs. If I go out riding and going out somewhere nice, I'll wear my my Icon Motorsports Bronson Sidewinder jacket along with uh, my HJC helmet to match it. And of course the uh, Icon jacket, like every other one, has got all the armor padding in it, cold weather liner, the works. But that's basically a rundown of my gear. I don't have much now compared to a lot of the other motor vloggers out there, but I am just starting out. And as for myself, I am I live up in northeastern North Dakota, which sucks because I only get to ride for six months out of the year, if that. But for work I do I am a farmer which I love doing the work it's great pay but it also cuts out cuts down on my time for riding because I'm always at work so a lot of my motor vlogs will be when I'm going to and from work so and then I also as a hobby I do I do customizing I do a lot of custom work I make my own parts for my own bike one of the things I am going to be making this winter is I am eliminating this rear, the rear factory tail light. I'm going to completely fiberglass it over and put uh, and replace it with all LED lights. It's going to be about 30 LED lights for the tail and brake light. And I'm thinking I'm going to fabricate my own extended swing arm on the bike. Since nobody makes one for it, I'm going to redo the exhaust. I'm uh, going to be repainting it all, the entire exhaust, all in white to match the bike. And thinking pulling the engine and doing uh, graphic design on the engine in white and carbon fiber design. Same with the radiator. Uh, that's just the basic rundown of what I'm doing. I've got one video up so far from the other day where I was just testing the uh, camera setup on the helmet. and I made my own wind, wind block on the microphone on the camera. So if you're interested, you can check it out and see how it sounds. But that's about it. As soon as my mic shows up, I'm going to get the first couple of motor vlogs in and before the snow hits. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'll get videos up as fast as I can.